Okay, then let's go on a bit. As you, mm, let's have a look at the back. As you can see, we are completely out of proportions because I think the drum has not been the right proportions. So I will not stick to the background image very often from now on. <clears throat> Let me go to perspective view and I think this entire body here is a bit too big. So I select it, go to side view, hit the R key and scale it in to so I can see at least the, the empty chambers of the drum, like so. Drop the tool. <clears throat> yeah, that looks a bit more natural. Now I select these two polygons, hit the X key and bring them up to here. Drop the two. Now let me select mm, this vertex here. Check, control, copy, escape, then go to edge mode, select this edge and this edge, go to vertex, set position, control V in the Y, then I can select these two polys and hit the X key and extrude them out to here. Drop the two. Okay. Before I continue, I would like to change something in this mesh here. So let me turn on symmetry on the set. It works and select these edges and delete them. Now I select an edge in here, Alt-C with a count of 1, drop the tool, deselect everything, hit the C key and now I connect these together. I have shift click here, let's check on the back side. Yes, that looks good as well. I have created some engons now, but the engons are less a problem than the spiders which we had f before, and uh, we would have seen this when we would render. <coughs> so I prefer to have an engon, and I can hit the T key and make this look a bit better. Okay, now go out of symmetry and let's start with the front part. I turn on the backdrop, go to side view and as it seems I must correct this here. I, so I select this edge here, hit the W key and bring it back a bit, like so. Drop the tool. <clears throat> now I go to perspective and remove these edges. They, I have put them in too early. Then I select these three polygons and hit the X key, bring them up, and hit the R key, 
and flatten them out. Now I can select this poly here, go to the side view, hit the W key and bring this one back to about here. Drop the tool. Let me select this here, hit <coughs> the W key, bring it up to here. Now hit the X key. Then I can select this polygon here, hit the W key, bring it out to here. W key again. And select this polygon and bring it out to here. That's better. Drop the tool. <coughs> Next, I hit the X key again and bring this up close to the top part. Now I select all these polygons, hit Shift C, which uh, <clears throat> as soon as I have something selected, we will only cut through the selected part, and I can cut through here. Middle mouse button, cut through here. Middle mouse button, cut through here, and once more through here. Drop the tool. Let me get rid of the backdrop. <coughs> and let's see how we are doing here. OK. Symmetry is still on the set. I select this polygon. Shift up arrow key till I have selected all these and then hide that. Next I go to side view, <coughs> Shift C and cut an edge in here like so. Drop the tool. Then I go to edge mode, action center element select this edge here and hit the W key and bring this one down to about here drop the tool select this edge here W key action center element and bring it to about here drop the tool now I unhide everything and have a look how this looks. I think we should move this one up a bit more, like so. Drop the tool. I now select in perspective view all these polygons. and hit the X key and bring them out to the same niveau as the rest, like so. Perspective again. Let's see how this looks. Uh, I need one more cut through here. So Edge Mode, Alt C with the count of one and symmetry. <coughs> 